Are you the kind of person that likes to eat while watching movies? Well, this is the kind of movie that'll make you throw up whatever you're eating. So Romina is a film about a bunch of friends that go camping and basically a bunch of bad things happen and they end up dying somehow. My first impressions of the movie were pretty solid because the cinematography, some of the views that they captured is really amazing. Also I like the fact that the actors seem to have a good chemistry with each other so the conversation was free flowing. It almost felt like it was unscripted. So one of the people decides to collect some wood for campfire and he stumbles across this really attractive woman who's swimming naked in the lake. At this point, you can already tell that this story is gonna take some random turns. So then it gets weirder. These guys get caught and instead of apologizing, they stare her down and walk away. Anyway, her way of getting revenge is to also creep up on them at night and just kinda, you know, stare back at them. This dude sees her and decides, hey, you know what? I'ma follow. I'ma follow her into the darkness. Yeah, we know where this is gonna go. Just when you think you know what's gonna happen, this story takes a 1,800 degree turn because these guys follow her into her tent and assault her. At this point of the movie, I was pretty disappointed because when it comes to this subject matter, you really can't make any jokes or anything like that. How the hell did Netflix greenlight this project? I imagine their conversation needs to be something like this. So, I'm not saying that the rape is gonna be a big deal, but at the same time, that's what gets the story going, you know? Yes, yes, of course. There's gonna be bloodshed, there's gonna be high budget, there's gonna be nudity, there's gonna nudity? be... Nudity? Are we talking about titties here? Yes, there's gonna be full frontal nudity, and it's to symbolize her innocence. I've heard enough. I'm gonna have this project fast-tracked. Have those titties uploaded to Netflix by midnight. Yes! Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. The more you think about this plotline, the less it makes sense. I feel like the director focused too much on the plot twists than the real story itself. This guy's a plot twist director, he's an M. Night Shyamalan. I don't know if that was his purpose, either way, he finessed himself into a Netflix deal so I can't hate on that. The climax of this story finishes with her murdering everyone, and not only that, it turns out this dude is also a murderer. And he knows about the whole situation somehow. And he decides that because she's correct, I'm gonna murder all my friends. I'm not gonna confront the ones that actually committed the crime. Nope. They're all gonna die because I'm also a psycho crazy person. And guess what? They're both necrophiliacs. Who would have thought? Only this director can think of something this brilliant and have it sold to Netflix. Anyway, I do encourage you to watch this film because it's pretty, pretty entertaining. You can make a drinking game out of it. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video, feel free to smash that subscribe button. None of my other videos are like this, but if you do want to see more movie reviews, leave a comment below and I'll get on it. Thanks for watching. Peace.